welcome to another installment of the E Academy dedicated to the Versa Plus control panel. Today's video is the first of two in which we will be explaining the configuration of the Versa Plus Earthnet module. One issue on which we will focus today is how to enter the network settings and configure the email messaging. And finally, we will demonstrate how this functionality works in practice. To do so, we will send a few email messages from the control panel about various events occurring in the system. What do you need to carry out the configuration? A computer running the Windows operating system, a mini USB cable, the latest version of the Deload X program, which can be downloaded free of charge from our website. A keypad for the Versa Plus, we will use the INT TSG touchscreen keypad. Of course, the Versa Plus control panel, complete with the enclosure and transformer, and a network cable with RJ45 plugs. You will also need access to the internet. To begin configuration, you must start the control panel. The transformer and battery are already installed in the enclosure and the keypad is connected to the control panel mainboard. To start the control panel, open the advanced settings on the keypad. Click the key icon and then the keypad icon to start up the terminal. Using the keys, launch the service mode in the control panel. Enter the default code 12345 star and then tap 00 hash. Entering the service mode is indicated on the keypad by the icon key backlight going on. Now you can connect to the computer. Run the DLoadX program. Then connect the control panel to the computer using the mini USB cable. The panel reports in the DLoadX program. Accept the USB connection and read data from the control panel. The data reading status can be seen on the progress bar. In the first installment of the eAcademy series dedicated to the Versa Plus control panel, we presented its configuration. Today we are using the same device, so the modules mounted on the mainboard are already identified. You can see them in the Structure and Hardware window in the Hardware tab. Connect the network cable to the ETH module port on the motherboard. Proceed to configure the Earthnet module by selecting the Versa ETH item in the list of available devices. In the module settings window, select the ETHM option and start entering the network settings. Depending on the given network configuration, you may use the DHCP to obtain an IP address automatically or enter it manually. We will use the second option and enter all data manually including the service IP address, subnet mask, gateway, and DNS server. There are further configuration options for the Versa ETH module. These will be discussed in the next installment. Save the settings you entered. The network connection is already configured, so you can proceed to configure your email. Go to the Email tab and choose SMTP account. Enter the address of the mail server. Select the correct port number depending on the security settings, which you can choose below. Finally, enter the account name and password. You still have to define the message subject and sender address. Enter the relevant data. Save all. After you have finished entering the data, you can verify its accuracy by clicking the test button. 
In the test window, enter the email address to which you want a test message to be sent. In this case, the address will be eacademia.satel at wp.pl. Send the test message. The email has been sent, which you can check in the program window. The SMTP account has already been correctly configured, so let's proceed to the email notification settings for selected types of events. Open the Event Assignment tab and check the Email Messaging option. Enter the data of the first recipient. Mark the recipient as active and, in the Events Type columns, select the events about which the recipient is to be informed. In this example, it will be Alarms and Armed. You can choose from many more types of events, the occurrences of which can generate different email notifications. About which events you will be notified of depends only on the settings you entered. Save your settings and click 00 hash on the keypad to quit the service mode. To send an email notification, you must arm the control panel. Click the arm icon on the keypad. Enter the user's password and confirm it. Then select the arming mode. The control panel becomes armed, which results in an email notification being sent. Then trigger a zone alarm. Which also will send a notification. The control panel will respond in the same way every time, upon the occurrence of other event types you select. And that's all regarding the configuration of the email notifications. In the next installment of the eAcademy, we will discuss the configuration of the Earthnet module for use with the connection setup service and Versa Control mobile application. For more detailed information on the subject we have been discussing, please follow the link under the video. And that's all for this installment. Thank you for your attention.